Hi and welcome. Thanks for joining us as we take this opportunity to look at how we can utilize Office 365 on our iPads. So let's get started with today's lesson. So let's take a look at another one of the Office 365 products that you can utilize on your iPad and that is Sway. Now Sway is a great way to start to change your presentation styles. It just gives a different outlook for how students would be able to share information, but also how teachers might want to share their information. Now again, this is, there's no app for this, so we're gonna do this through the web browser and we'll see that this is within our Office 365. We're gonna tap on Sway. And what this shows us is all of the templates that we can use really, really, you know, if I'm, if I'm looking to create something very specific, I can choose one of these templates to start from. Um, so, you know, really, really useful place to start. There's also some featured uh, ones down here that might be useful to look through. So, so here we go, here's our Habitats uh, Sway that we've got loaded up and you can see how it works. It's just a, a constant kind of scrolled presentation uh, rather than a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation. But you can still embed lots and lots of multimedia into this. There's you know information. And it's quite dynamic as you sort of scroll down, the, the images, new videos pop up into place. Um, you can tap on uh, some of the images so you can go full screen. So whereas this is designed into something, um, you can tap on it to go full screen, play the videos obviously. And then this is a nice uh, touch. These are stacks of pictures that when you tap on the, the screen, you can scroll through the different images. So just a really, really nice way to present work. And again, we love to give students options when it comes to presenting stuff. It doesn't all have to be done as a formal PowerPoint presentation. That's why you know we like to give them the range of tools, certainly on an iPad, where they might create a keynote, they might create a Sway in this way or something from Adobe even. Here we can see that we've also got embedded links. So this is taking me to a Kahoot um, and we can just tap on that. It's gonna take me out of Sway and take me to that Kahoot. So again, nice way to kind of put all of your learning um, in one place. So let's take a look at how we would go about creating one of these. Um, let's start with one of these templates. Let's tap on the newsletter template. You'll see here we have this overview of what it is we're trying to create. What we want to do is start to think about, well, what is the content of our Sway that we want to use? Now, if this was a newsletter, if this was my school newsletter, you know, the template is here where I can just start to create and edit what I want to. So if I start editing, it's gonna prepare the template for me, it gives me a couple of different sort of view options here. One, I have my storyline option. So this is where the content goes in. So this is like the back end of any suede you're making. And then you have your design. So you can start to think about, you know, what do I want this to look like? Where does the layout happen? Um, you can change the styles over here. So just by tapping on a few different options, you can go through the different looks of what your, uh, what your sway is gonna look like, changing the color themes, changing the font styles, etc. So a really, really nice way to kind of play around um, and just instantly kind of uh, remix what your presentation is going to look like so that's a really really nice thing to play around with but we're just going to focus just on how do we build this in the first place so let's say we're going to have our newsletter this is going to be about digital leaders so i've got this picture here this isn't a picture that i want to necessarily use in this so there's a couple of ways that i can change this if i tap on the details it gives me that information i'm actually going to delete that as a picture and that gives me these new options of adding a background or adding a logo. If I tap on Add Background, you'll see it opens Bing as a search over here where I might choose that picture to go in as a background and add in a caption, uh, leading the way. There we go, just add a nice caption for it. Um, and we just continue to work through. Now, another way that we can add in those pictures as well, um, if I just want to add in a separate card, let's say that I'm doing some research on the internet, so I found some other digital pictures I might want to use. Just an alternative way to just present this is very simply just by selecting that picture. Oops, not all of the pictures. So that I can move it and take it over here. And you'll see if I just drop this anywhere on the screen, it's going to create a new card for me instantly. So um, I you know, don't have to go in and, and add anything. I just drag that picture in. It gives me the option then to add in the captions, anything that I might want to, to add into that card. 
When you're ready to add in extra sections, the plus is where you want to go. And you'll see that you've got lots of areas that you can add in. So if I wanted to add in some text, those stacks that we looked at before, um, I can go to just text. There's my range of media, so images, videos, audio, embed links from other areas. It could be a blog site, it could be um, links like Kahoot allows you to share things with embed codes. It just means it's going to sit within your sway as opposed to being a hyperlink out. And then also you can group things together, thinking about how you want this to look. Is this a comparison? This is a really, really nice one. You can look at a picture from the past to what the current day looks like. So lots and lots of ways that you can kind of play around with the media in this. Let's take a look at the uh, stack, which is a nice one to play around with. So with this, we have this option to add in our content. So again, what I'm going to do is just open up my second window and you know what I'm just going to add in some of these pictures so again tap on the image itself drag it and then drop it over and then I'll tap on another one drag it and drop it over keep it into the same window and drag it and drop it over and then when I go back to this what I've got is those three pictures but if I go to my design element on this you'll see that I can tap through those pictures because I've built, built it in as a stack. So that's just a different way to sort of create that work. So we're starting to build our, our picture here and how that looks. So let's go back to our very start and let's go to create a brand new one. And let's create it as a blank just to go through the whole process. So we start off thinking about what it is we want to build. So what is our topic? So let's stick with that digital leaders one. The process then is, you know, maybe I want to add in some pictures into this. So let's go through that process. Let's add in uh, some images of digital leaders. Uh, some nice badges there that we can use. And that kind of sums it up quite nicely. And then we go to the plus and we're going to add in our next section. So let's say that this is going to be a, a heading section. Join our meeting this week. So we want that to be in there. Let's emphasize that text maybe a little bit more. There we go, make it a little bit bigger. Could add in another picture again so we can go through that whole process. You know, what pictures might we want in there? Maybe not digital leaders this time. Uh, let's just use some nice little background images. This looks quite nice. So we'll add that. And then we just continue this whole process. So when I tap on this one, it's gonna give me the next plus. What do I want to add in this bit? Um, do you know what? Let's go for this comparison one, just so you can see what this looks like. So let's add an image in here of, let's see. So we're going to add in our image here. So again, I'm just going to open this uh, and let's have what would look nice for a comparison picture here. Maybe let's have a 1900 classroom. Let's add that in the top one. And then the second one, let's go for the 21st century. Classroom. Let's hope these are somewhat different. And add that in. And so that's just going to process those two pictures. Again, it just kind of looks like I'm building it as a stack, but when you go into your design, you notice that you have this kind of drag over, which is a really, really nice effect if you're trying to get your students to have this direct comparison between you know what the world looked like and what the world looks like now. It's a nice kind of reveal that you can build into that. Going back to our storyline then, it's just that case of repeat to add. Put this in the hands of children and they really, really come up with some fantastic designs as they start to think about the different ways they want to express themselves. When you then tap on play, you see this as you would see it, almost as if it was a website. So we have this ability to scroll through and all of those interactives are interactive as you move through it. So there we go, how to use Sway as a presentation tool for your students in the classroom.
utilizing the power of iPad to quickly add in images using the split screen focus.